Hi, my name is Janine Olson, as I said, and I'm a 2015 visual arts awardee with a very broad interdisciplinary practice that follows ideas. Recently, I'm into theater, experimental music, metallurgy, archaic photographic techniques, blowing glass, weaving, and just a rounded out 3D video. <laughs> My creative capital project, A Humane Matter, is a series of works including performances, objects, and videos, mining late capitalism's alienating effects through material extraction and labor. With humor, pathos, and an interest in traditional craft and industrial production, this project forms various parafictions that are absurd and also dead serious. I collaborate with amazing performers in videos and live work that enact compositions based on the idea of conduction that is material, musical, and social. I'm also making, a catalytic, I'm also making catalytic instruments and objects that alter the body's function in relationship to representation. We're watching the aforementioned 3D video called Figures of Speech made this winter for a show at Sculpture Center, which was a really fruitful annex inside of my larger Creative Capital project. And unlike now, you would have worn 3D glasses to see images of the performers altering materials, smelting, pouring, and hammering copper into wire, rolling and forming clay into a large cone, using their bodies as instruments of linguistic musicality, and ultimately making the clay and copper wire speaker sculpture seen alongside the video. It was shot in a metal shop and a recording studio to unseen areas of production. What they're making requires changes in materials, which is also the means for sound to be heard and transmitted. I use 3D technology and, and red cyan lighting to talk about the formation of an image to give an optical sense of physicality. I've been getting really into troubling representation of materiality in images. Uh, next, there we go. Uh, this is the installation of the project. There was also a performance called Doesn't Matter, Hands Down Yes. This is the Matter Phone, a speaker seen in production by the performers. This is a three-dimensional version of a 3D anaglyphic image, 3D printed, sort of a haptic hologram. Um, but now I'm going to show you a short clip from the video in process that will be shown as part of a project at the Hammer Museum in late spring 17, along with a performance and some objects. Um, the video initially shot in caves and mines will continue following an absurdist production cycle of copper into a wire factory and power grid. In this particular section of the film, the performer Lisa Reynolds and I developed a monologue from text about land art. It was shot at Chino Mine, a famous open pit copper mine and site of workers' resistance, here transformed into a dark comedy about art. So put the volume up. Look at this monumental earthwork, or land art as I prefer to call it. This is not merely spiraling shapes and celestial steps. This is a brave attempt at the inversion of the familiar, juxtaposing form with the matter of the landscape. Now, if we were to look back at the very birth of land art, or in the broader sense of site specificity, we see how this work refers directly back to the topography of the geological time before the era of extraction. This way of looking at time lends itself to a calm and reflective approach. Can you feel it? It's telling us something about how we choose to relate to time and art, indicating somehow how life, just as art, is constantly changing and adapting its accumulation of primitive forms. The intention, of course, is for us to feel with our bodies, things we can't intellectually and politically decipher, because it is not meant to be discovered and captured for us, but instead it's supposed to be discovered through the meeting of the eyes, the body, and the surrounding material of this terrain. I think this is a great way to explore what the artist suggests when he said he wants to take factories of people and make his work communal. Okay, in closing, I'd really be really happy to talk to anyone about any of the aspects that I can't talk about in five minutes. Um, and basically, I'm looking for 
post-production support, new venues for exhibitions, screenings, performances, and hey, if anyone knows how to get into a wire factory or onto rooftops in lower Manhattan to shoot, I'd love to talk. Thank you so much, Creative Capital, and thank you all of you for your time.